in this giant box contains three desktop ergonomic keyboards I'm gonna review based on seven categories I'm gonna unbox each and every single one of them and use them for the very first time and tell you which one is the best that you should buy if you're interested in one of these three keyboards I've created a system to really rank which ones are the best based on these seven categories here now I'm gonna be ranking these out of five milkshakes. So the highest milk you can get is five. And full disclosure, these keyboards were sent to me by Kinesis. So we'll be reviewing one of their keyboards here as well. More about them at the end of the video, but I will be keeping my opinion unbiased and giving these a fair chance amongst all three of these keyboards. And the first keyboard on our list is the Sculpt Ergonomic Keyboard by Incase, designed by Microsoft. Okay, so when you open this box, you get three things. You get the actual keyboard itself. It's a single piece ergonomic keyboard with this nice little foam. You additionally get this plastic cover case thing. And then you get this additional like extension numpad thing. Um, it does feel like a pretty plasticky keyboard. I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily cheap, but it, it doesn't feel all that quality, I'd say. And the connection here is actually this nice little uh, USB key. So it comes in the back of this keyboard. Okay, so we just finished checking out the build quality of the Microsoft Sculpt. I'm going to give it out of five milkshakes. I'm going to give it two two milkshakes out of five. It does feel pretty plasticky. Even just the sound of it feels pretty plasticky. I, I feel like if I really try, I could snap it. The foam, the foam is nice. You know what? Just because of the foam, I'm going to give it, go ahead and give it three uh, milkshakes out of five for the build quality on the Microsoft Sculpt. But let's move on to key feel and switches. Okay, so we can see here, Incase.com, Sculpt Ergonomic Keyboard designed by Microsoft. Free shipping on every order. It is uh, only available in the black color. You can see everything's designed here like I already explained it. The key feel, again, yeah, it's an okay key feel. The switches are scissor switches. I don't even know what that means. They're not swappable. They're not changeable. Uh, you know, it's not terrible. It's not the worst, but it is going to get to milkshakes out of five for that and then right down going on to the price so this keyboard costs 120 dollars i'm gonna say right up front i haven't tested this keyboard out yet i haven't even connected it so i'm not gonna go too harsh on it but for just the two previous categories of the build quality and the restrictedness of the keys and the switches 120 dollars for this seems a little high in my personal opinion. I also, if you're gonna use an ergonomic keyboard, I don't see the point of you using this little add-on thing, this little whatever, this, I don't even know, numpad add. Expansion? Yeah, I don't wanna to be too hard off the bat, but 120 bucks for this is gonna be, again, just two milkshakes. I was gonna give it one, but you know, I think ergonomically, all of the keyboards are gonna be pretty expensive here. I just realized, I actually am gonna change this. I don't like software and driver support. I'm gonna change this entirely. So what I'm gonna do is have customization and connectivity as two separate categories. And I'm gonna remove the software uh, and driver support and kind of put that, blend it with the connectivity here. So with that being said, the connectivity is gonna go back to four milkshakes Whereas the customization, that's going to get a zero, a big fat wonton. Okay, and if we go back to the ergonomics of this keyboard, I will say it feels pretty good. Okay, like it doesn't feel too terrible. I think now I'm kind of getting used to it, maybe not, but it doesn't feel too bad now that I've used it. I do think ergonomically, it's not the best keyboard. I do feel some tensions in my hands, especially when I have to stretch to get those keys on that right side. I don't think it really solves the ergonomic issue, especially considering the fact that, no, there's no concavity here at all. It's just kind of a flat tilt. You can tilt it further with that little plastic feature. And so because of that, I'm gonna give this two milkshakes because labeling, labeling yourself as an ergonomic keyboard, but really not giving anything to make it ergonomic doesn't sit too well with me. So absolutely one more big, Big fat wonton on the bonus features for the sculpt. All right, and so the second keyboard we're gonna review is the Kinesis M Wave mechanical keyboard here. Now, in the box comes the actual keyboard itself. It comes with a connection cord it can connect. It's a type USB type C, has some batteries in it as well, and these little extension plugs. I think you can lift the keyboard on. The switches and keys, these are mechanical. It feels good. You obviously have this split space bar for left and right, which is always nice. I will say though, this keyboard feels very plasticky, like obviously it's all plastic, but the keycaps have this weird little 
feeling on top of that. I can't really put my, my finger on what it is. Well, I literally am putting my finger on it. There's like a little coating here that's a little like grippier. It feels kind of weird, um, especially the ASDF, JKL, and colon keys here, these light gray ones. All right, so the Kinesis M-Wave, this thing feels much higher quality than Microsoft Sculpt. So I went ahead and gave it five milkshakes. Just the foam pad feels better. The plastic feels better. And then the key feel and switches. So this is a mechanical keyboard, very different than the Microsoft of sculpt this feels just almost like you're typing on a regular mechanical keyboard it feels really good so this already just by the feel of it is going to be uh way better than the sculpt because i'm going to say for the build quality and the key feel and switches it's going to get a four for the build quality and three milkshakes for key feel and switches i mean the mechanical part is very nice very cool but the price point 119 dollars again these ergonomic keyboards they're expensive you know i think it's a market I, i'm tempted to also give it two milkshakes but just because of how higher quality this is already like there's also this backlight feature which i'll get into, get into later when i talk about the bonus features so for the same price i'm going to give this thing a three milkshakes out of five so i really enjoy the fact that the kinesis m wave adds an opportunity for you to just wire in and treat like a regular mechanical keyboard. Uh, I'm actually gonna give this a full five milkshakes out of five for the Kinesis M-Wave. All right, so for customization, you can swap the keys and the key caps. You can't change the switches. I'll give it for an ergonomic, I'm gonna give it two milkshakes because it's really nothing too crazy about it. So one thing I'm gonna actually say, so the customization on the physical keyboard is limited to the keycaps, but I just was looking at the specs and the features and all the keys are actually programmable. So you can remap all the keys on the keyboard. So that actually gives you a lot more customization to change this keyboard however you want. But just that alone allows you to swap those keys, remap them, that, that's a big value to have in the customization factor. I'm gonna give this one more milkshake, three out of five. All right, so ergonomics and comfort, it's very comfortable, it's very easy to use. However, the big biggest complaint I have, once again, is the fact that my hand has to stretch to hit the keys on the right. Like my pinky really has to switch or stretch to hit the enter, the backspace, and all the other keys. But overall, this does have a pretty good ergonomic feel and the comfort is pretty high. I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing uh, three milkshakes. Uh, out of five, the reason why it has more than a sculpt is because the keys just feel much better on my hand as a whole. All right, and the third keyboard we're gonna review is the Logitech K860. God damn. And uh, when you open it, you basically just get this, the batteries and the connection key. So it's not a wired connection keyboard, which uh, similar to the Sculpt. This thing is long as hell. It's like a second keyboard added on to this. It really looks like this part is a Microsoft Sculpt and this was like that added numpad. But Logitech just said, fuck that and just put this shit on one. All right, so for the Logitech K860, for the build quality, I actually think this thing feels pretty nice. I don't think it's like the best built keyboard by any chance. But it's pretty good plastic. So I'm gonna give it four milkshakes out of five on the kind of ergonomic keyboard scale. So with that, I'm actually gonna give this thing three milkshakes out of five. Surprisingly, when you look at this, you think this is a giant piece of shit. But the feel of this is surprisingly pretty nice to hit these keys, these low profile keys. It's it's Kind of rewarding. All right, so if we go back to the price, $150. I really hate the fact you can do four payments of $37.49 at 0% interest with Klarna. I, I just don't like that. That automatically pisses me off. I think $150 for this doesn't make much sense go ahead and give this one milkshake not because the most expensive but if you are going to be paying more i do expect to get a little bit more out of the box like wired connection maybe something customizable a backlight shit throw something in there now for connectivity again i have to give the exact same microsoft sculpt rating i don't know why i give this up four maybe because it's just plug and play uh there wasn't any things that weren't working at all again i'm on a macbook so i'm going to go ahead and give this thing the same ranking i gave to the sculpt which is four milk shakes all right if you go to customization you can't customize shit all right now ergonomics and comfort is where this thing i think is low key a pretty good uh keyboard if you are looking to get something for some pain you may be feeling 
Now, the reason why I like this thing so much is A, I just feel like I'm doing better on monkey type on this keyboard than the other two right off the cuff. However, this thing just feels good. I can't explain what it is. It's almost like driving a Toyota Corolla or Toyota Camry. Like it's not gonna excel. You're not gonna really go home and talk to your friends about it, but you like the fact of how it just feels like how it's supposed to feel. As much as I really do want to give this thing a higher ergonomic value because it feels bitchin', uh, I'm going to give this thing three milkshakes out of four just because of that vastness that happens beyond the enter key, the, the taint of this keyboard, if you will, where no one is going to explore. All it's going to do is collect dust, dirt, and disgust, and you're going to be embarrassed that that thing is part of the collective package here. All right, so in conclusion, this is how I'm going to rank these keyboards, or this is how they scored on my metrics. So it's seven categories. The highest you can get is five, so seven times five, five is 35, and this is how everything ranks. So the Sculpt got a 13 out of 35, the M-Wave got a 22 out of 35, and the K860 got 15 out of 35. Obviously, this makes the M-Wave the winner and the Sculpt the loser. I'm very comfortable and confident to say that the Sculpt is the worst one of the three, just in terms of build quality, what it offers, very limited and it's just not a good, I would not recommend that keyboard at all. I think between the M-Wave and the Logitech K860, it's a toss up. I think the price point is going to make the M-Wave way better, way more appealing. But for whatever reason, if you like the low profile keys of a Logitech K860 or like an Apple keyboard, then yeah, the K860 offers a pretty compelling option to purchase it. All right, so with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy this quick ranking of these three ergonomic keyboards that I've got. Shout out to Kinesis for sending these keyboards to me. If you didn't know, Kinesis does sponsor some videos from time to time. But for this one, they just sent these keyboards and wanted me to do an unbiased review. So I did. This is truly what my thoughts are from using these key uh, keyboards for maybe an hour in between each footage that you saw. I'm editing in between them. But I do think the K860 and the M-Wave are the superior ergonomic keyboards of the batch. But the M-Wave is just more modern. I think it's more modern friendly. It's cheaper, which is hard to beat right there. But it just offers a lot more customization, a backlight. And it's just, you know, it's friendlier to play with. The mechanical switches also make it very unique. So I have to say that the winner is going to be the Kinesis M-Wave. Just make sure you avoid the sculpt. I think between the other three and the sculpt, that one's clearly just the worst one. Like, not, not going to even debate that one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more. Subscribe because I have a big video coming up where I'm going to be ranking, like, over 10 keyboards. Like, all these keyboards you see behind me, the Moonland, the Kinesis, Mechanical, Shmanatical, uh, Apple, all that's going to be reviewed. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can uh, enjoy that video. If you want to be subscribed, you get the notification. Do whatever it is you got to do. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ah.